Yo, what's going on guys? And today we're talking about Jeremiah Robinson Earl. If you guys do not know who this man is, he is the man out of Villanueva. He's from Kansas City, Kansas, right like 30 minutes away from where I go to school at KU. He's 6'9", 230 pounds, a sophomore born November 3rd, 2000. So he's actually 357 days younger than me. And right now, I have him as a borderline first round, second round prospect. But I truly believe he is the most versatile player in this draft. He could be a really good defender. Look, he's got decent scoring ability off the dribble. Like, I would compare his scoring ability to Aaron Gordon. And that he excels at off-ball motion. And he has stri stretch big potential. He's a good rebounder. He's a decent defensive player who has a good motor. And he's a solid athlete. He's not as athletic as Aaron Gordon, but I feel like they'd be similar players in the similar vein that Aaron Gordon and Jeremiah both need a facilitator. They need someone to create offense for them. They're not somebody who's going to be a shot creator for themselves. Jeremiah Robinson is an athletic combo for that can get plenty of points when having a point guard or a center who can set him up and he gets great rebounds. He has an incredible motor and he consistently outworks his opponents even if they're bigger than them inside the paint. And he does need to work on his jump shot and ball handling skills, sort of like how Aaron Gordon was coming out of college. But I think he could be a pro productive player that could be slip into the first round or, you know, be a borderline second round pick. He's a guy who averaged 15.7 points per game this past year, 8.5 rebounds, 2.2 assists, about half a block game, steal game. And he shot 28% from three, but about 50% from the field. And his first year in college, he was a 32% three-point shooter. So it shows he hasn't been super insane. Uh, NBA Draft Room has him as a comparison to Mike Michael Beasley, Light, or Ed O'Banion. You know, I think he's one of, if not the better players, and like better players you get at, at the end of this first round. And he doesn't have a huge wingspan. Okay, it's about the same as his height, but he's 235 pounds. I think he's somebody who could come in and immediately make an impact. Look at Sadiq Bey when he came into the league. He made an impact. So a team, honestly, like the Los Angeles Lakers would benefit, but you'd rather him go to a team like maybe the Denver Nuggets. But I think at 26, that's a reach. So maybe the Houston Rockets give him a chance or a team with a lot multiple first-round picks. But yeah, let me hear your guys' thoughts. That's it for me, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Puppies out.